Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the Feng Shui in New Horizons, going over what it is and how to earn the Feng Shui bonus. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as I'm sure you know, a huge aspect of Animal Crossing is decorating our homes and putting our interior design skills to the test. This has been a concept since the original. Back in the GameCube days, our homes were judged by the Happy Room Academy, who gave us a score based on our decorating. It was pretty simple back then, every item in the game had a value when placed in our homes, and the HRA would reward us for our total score. The higher the score we got, the more the Happy Room Academy rewarded us. The concept evolved with every iteration of Animal Crossing and is now known as the Happy Home Academy, or HHA, which was popularised in New Leaf. Now, although the Happy Home Academy has returned to Animal Crossing New Horizons and continues to judge our decorating and interior design skills, the system for calculating our score is more complex than it ever has been. In fact, there's probably too much to cover in a single video, but in short, we earn points for everything such as placing basic living furniture in our rooms, such as beds and chairs, but other examples include earning additional points for having matched in themed furniture, like a set of ironwood items and stuff like that. Now there are several other ways to increase our Happy Home Academy score. Some include using seasonal items in our homes, such as bamboo items right now, or placing lucky items and even matching furniture by color. All these methods of scoring will earn us bonuses, increasing our HHA score and earn us a bunch of cool Happy Home Academy plaques and trophies. Achieving the highest gold HHA trophy is probably one of the ultimate goals in New Horizons. Now, one of the most overlooked methods of increasing our HHA score in most Animal Crossing games is Feng Shui. Feng Shui is a real world ancient principle where furniture or clothing items are placed in particular cardinal directions in an attempt to boost the flow of positive energy and raise a room's harmony. The art of Feng Shui is said to bring good health and fortune to those who practice it in their homes and it's much the same in Animal Crossing. When used correctly in past games, Feng Shui can be tailored to increase the amount of bells around town. Other times it's used to increase the amount of furniture items a player can find each day, as well as used to boost the general luck of the player. This could mean villagers would gift you rarer items or buy things from you for more than they usually would have. It's really fascinating. Now until the Animal Crossing New Horizons companion guidebook was released a couple of days ago, we weren't too sure whether or not Feng Shui was a thing in New Horizons, but we now know it is. If you want to watch my hands-on review of the guidebook, I'll leave a link in the comments. Anyway, it turns out Feng Shui is very much present in New Horizons and plays a significant role in boosting our Happy Home Academy score, and this is known as a Feng Shui bonus. To earn this bonus and boost our scores, it's as easy as placing objects in specific locations. Imagine this is our main 8x8 tiled upgraded room, or 16x16 half tiles. The Feng Shui New Horizons has three cardinal directions, east, south and west, where corresponding items can be placed within two tiles of the wall. For example, red items can be placed within two tiles along the east wall of the room, green items can be placed within two tiles along the south wall of the room, and finally, yellow items can be placed within two tiles along the west wall of the room. If items that match these colors are placed within these zones, we get a Feng Shui bonus added to our Happy Home Academy score. Each valid item earns a bonus of 500 points, which is really handy with a maximum possible bonus of 1500 points, which means we only need three items positioned correctly to earn the maximum bonus. The reason this is such an easy way to boost our score is because this can be applied to every room. So if you have four rooms, you can earn a Feng Shui bonus of 6,000 points. Now it's worth noting that the southeast corner and the southwest corners of the room overlap. So here we can have either color placed in those areas without affecting the bonus. And I believe for the first time in any Animal Crossing game, furniture items placed on the walls also count towards the bonus. So if you don't want to rearrange your furniture, you can simply hang something on the wall in the correct cardinal direction instead. Red to the east, green to the south, and yellow to the west. So it may sound more complicated than it is, so let's look at a quick example. If I walk into this room and drop down a red cone along the east wall, that's 500 points. 
Then I can place the bamboo doll, which is of course green, along the south wall. That's another 500 points. And finally, I can place this kettle, which is yellow, along the west wall for another 500 points, totaling 1500 points for this one pretty empty room. It's that easy. There's no real downside to feng shui, however it can be a little difficult to know what colours the furniture or clothing items are. The majority of the time it's a safe guess that whatever the primary colour of the object is, is the corresponding colour. For example, a blue lava lamp is blue, but doesn't fall into a feng shui area. Furthermore, some items aren't even the colours you'd think they would be, such as the cardboard box or the wooden chest, which are classed as yellow items. This is where the companion guide would come in handy as it does have all the corresponding colours listed with every item, but generally you should be okay if you go by the main colour of the object. Now a couple of side notes to include, there's no real limit on how many items we can place for our feng shui. We can have 10 items in the corresponding locations if we want to, but only 3 would ever count towards our scores. Furthermore, we're not penalised as far as I know for placing things in the wrong areas, we just wouldn't earn the bonus. And finally, the rest of the tiles in the room can be used for any object of any colour. So yeah, pretty interesting and very cool thing to practice if you're serious about decorating and earning the highest Happy Home Academy score. But what are your thoughts on feng shui? Is this something you already do or are you not too bothered about earning those trophies? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment feng shui. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what must-have items you have in your homes and whether or not you follow feng shui. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.